Was I allowed to do anything I wanted as the first? Is the firstborn allowed to do anything? No, the lastborn is allowed to do anything. The firstborn is the one with the rules which they try to inflict on you and then everything deteriorates and the last one gets to do whatever they want. No, I, my parents were very supportive. They, I don't know why. I, I really just think it's, you know, their breadth of imagination. <laughs> they just uh, didn't think that was a bad idea at all. No, I had a lot of lucky breaks early on. Rosemary Tischler giving me an audition after the deadline was passed. They do these public auditions, anybody can come in. At that time they did at the public theater in New York City. And um, everybody in my drama class prepared for these auditions and they all went down to New York and did them. And I had a nervous stomach, <laughs> couldn't go. But basically I knew that I just didn't want to be on that whole, in that whole meat market. Competition makes me very nervous, so I didn't bite anybody's ankle, you know, to, to get the part. I just said, give me a chance to read for it. And she did, and I don't know why. She just was a, is a nice woman. And she gave me a, uh, an audition, and based on that, I, I got another audition with uh, Joe Papp, and he hired me for Trelawney of the Wells, which was being done at Lincoln Center that fall. I still get nervous, very nervous, if I have to audition. I don't believe you. Well, I think you should take a person's word for something. If I have to sing in front of people. Look at me now, will I ever learn? I don't know how. I'm just terrified. Then you head back. I'm much more comfortable enclosed in a world of fiction. I decided to be an actress halfway through drama school. It was something that was hard to commit to because I didn't think it was a serious sort of way to spend your life. You pushed me down the stairs. <laughs> and one that, you know, would help the world and everything else that we all wanted to do then. But now I think my mind has changed about that. If it's not true, I will see you impeached on the floor of the Senate and bury you. I think it is a, a valuable thing. Very sorry about this. Okay, you can just I, do what you have to do. I never imagined in my wildest dreams that I would be successful. Parker. Roll play. Action. The fear is always there with actors that you'll never work again. That goes with the territory. Oh, gee, where am I going to go now? You have that fear, the second job, third job, fourth job. You have it all the way down the line. So each happy event as it's happened has been a surprise. I'm not out of date, am I? I've been picking flowers for a woman, a sign of appreciation. No, not at all, except those are poisonous. <laughs> I'm Damocles with the sword, you know. I really think it's up there by us by a hair. And every day it doesn't happen, I'm just thrilled. Yeah! I never thought it was going to happen to me. You can't if you're an actor. I'm really freaking here, Johnny. Why is he here? Some people do, I guess. Go in saying, I'm going to be a star. And they are. But for all those people that say that, I bet there are hundreds of thousands who say that and are still, you know, struggling. Where are you going? I don't know. I know a lot of uh, my success has to do with luck. I've also poured a lot of hard work into it, so I feel in some way that I can justify myself, you know. But I'm just happy that things have happened this way. Mostly personally, because I just, uh, I'm, the greatest break in my life was when I met Don Gummer. I mean, there's no question in my mind about that. Is life really so damn simple for you? Perhaps I ask less of it than you do. I don't believe that at all. Do I have any regrets in my life? Mm. I regret that I didn't move out of town sooner. I think I wasted a lot of time being nervous and uptight. I understand my enjoyment levels are down. Pull your wits together and tell me how to get to Brooklyn. 